Yay guys! So this is the angle now because I want to sit down in my chair as opposed to standing up. Today we are making the cutest taco cake I have ever made. And I've made no taco cakes before. So that's why this is the cutest. And also because it's kawaii themed. I love the way this cake turned out, so let's get started. My name is Multivitamins, and you should take two a day. This video is sponsored by Costco. No, it's not. It's not. Let's get started. Hold on, I actually have to chew these now. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. So to create this cake, I am using a 10 inch round cake and it's funfetti because I'm loving the colors. Now I'm gonna cut this cake in half with my serrated knife and I'm only gonna use half of it. So the other half is gonna be another cake that you're gonna see later in the week. Guess what I made? Can you guess? You guessed it, it's a croissant. How did you guess that? Wow, you're so good at this game. Let's create the taco cake. I just cut my cake in half into two equal layers. Then I move them onto my cake board. Now, I have my first layer of cake. I'm going to cut the edges just to create more of that taco shape, I guess. I don't know, this is basically the taco shape. Then I added buttercream into the middle of my cake and I added the second layer of cake on top. I didn't put the cake directly on top. It's off just a little bit, so the straight side is hanging off. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna be adding like fondant meats. Ooh, those two words don't really go together. And I wanted to make sure that there was space to accommodate all of my other fondant pieces. After that, I started to carve my cake. Now I'm gonna round out the bottom so that I can get the taco curve shape and just round out the sides of the top layer of the cake. After that, I gave my entire cake a crumb coat of buttercream. And it's the only coat because I'm cheap. I can talk about how I don't like icing or whatever. I'm cheap, that's it. <laughs> buttercream is expensive. And guess who's paying for this cake? Me. Where's all this money coming from? After I gave my cake a crumb coat, I placed it into the fridge to chill. And while I was chilling, I watched the Arcade Fire music video for the Dumbo song, Baby of Mine. I'm so scared for that movie because I'm, I'm just scared about how much I'm gonna cry. They show that part in the trailer where like the mom's trunk is like holding Dumbo while she's stuck in that cage. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with it. I'm just gonna cry. God, I cry for everything. Let's just get back to this cake. After I took it out of the fridge, I added on some fondant. I'm adding on some yellow fondant. What kind of fondant is this? Little sundress. I like that. It's like what a little girl wears to a, a garden party. I've never been to a garden party. I don't get invited to many parties at all. <laughs> oh gosh. It's so true though. I just wrapped it all the way around the bottom layer of cake, pushed it down the sides with a cake scraper, and then I just used some fondant tools to push it under the cake so that I don't have a straight edge. I pulled away the excess and I'm just adding on some magic sauce so I can stick all of my taco fondant layers on the inside. And then I did it. So first, we got some of that shredded fondant beef going on. Vegan fondant beef, of course. Because I'm trying to be vegan, but I'm failing because I still eat cheese and butter. What? So good. I don't know how to stop. Then we got some lettuce, you know, because a lot of tacos have shredded lettuce, but I like romaine lettuce in my tacos. So I'm just layering beef and some red to like, it's like pico de gallo. That's what it's supposed to resemble. So beef, lettuce, pico de gallo. And on top of that, we're gonna layer in some cheese. Oh gosh. I, this is why I can't be vegan sometimes. Because cheese. There's not enough cheese. Cheese is like the flavor of life. How, oh gosh. I'm gonna add my top layer of fondant and create the front of my taco shell. Ooh, it's just a half circle. I made it extra long so that I could tuck it into the bottom. So I'm using some fondant tools, pushing it into the bottom of the cake just so I can get that nice rounded taco bottom shape. Look at that baby, that's good to eat right now. I could have stopped right there and posted this video and everyone would be all over it. But no, 
we're making this a kawaii cake. Why? Because kawaii sells. I think, anyways, a lot of people like to watch it, including me. I love watching kawaii cakes, but most of it's just like, I'm rambling, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> so I'm adding two black pieces of fondant to create some circular eyes, and then his mouth. Oh, look how happy that guy is. He's not gonna be happy when he's being eaten, but that's okay, because he makes my belly feel good. Two catch lights. And I want to add some of that like cute kawaii cheek stuff. Just little pink ovals on both sides. And voila, our kawaii taco cake is complete. Look how cute this guy is. He's so happy. It's like he doesn't know he's going to go into somebody's stomach. He doesn't know what a knife is. But when he sees it, that looks going to come off his face. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun to make. Um, I have a ton of kawaii ideas and they're so cute. So I thought I'd knock some out. Now make sure you hit that notification button so you can see when I use the other half of this cake to create my kawaii croissant. Now I'm curious, what would you name this taco? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.